Three of the 23 bodies so far removed from River Yala in the last three months have been positively identified by family members. The bodies of 37-year-old Philemon Chepkwony and Erastas Ndirangu, who have been missing in the last three months, were the first to be identified as families trooped to Yala Sub-County Hospital Mortuary. The body of one of Chepkwony's friend who disappeared with him was also identified by Chepkwony's family. <laughs> Grief and shock outside Yala Sub County Hospital Mortuary. Irene Wahito is inconsolable minutes after viewing the body of her missing brother Erastus Ndirango. Wahito tells us that Ndirango, who was a businessman, was last seen in November while on his way to Nakuru from Nairobi. <laughs> Wahito who traveled from Kakamega to Yala after receiving reports of the recovery of bodies from the river is still distraught from what met her eyes in the morgue. She wants authorities to get those who killed her brother to face justice. So familiar. Sijui hata vile tutafikiria juu. Huko ni bali kukuja kutupwa karibu huko. Ni bali sana. The family of 37-year-old Philomon Chepkoni is also mourning the death of their kin. The search of their loved one, a businessman based in Nairobi, came to an end after they positively identified Chepkoni's body. According to the family, the late went missing on the 2nd of December in the company of his three friends who have been missing. It is so unfortunate that our people, Wanawawa, Wanatupwa, kwa, 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 kwa River, it's so sad. I don't know who are killing these people and dropping them to these far hands of Kisumu. This is not Kenya. We, we, we want to live. This is not a democratic Kenya. You want to wish to leave. I'm so frustrated in this country. Chepkoni's brothers say their kin was tortured by his abductors before being killed. They also identified the body of one of the men who were with Chepkoni when he disappeared. The car they were using was found dumped in Gilgil. The two families are among more than 10 families that have visited the facility in search of their loved ones. Meanwhile, two bodies which were spotted floating on River Yala are still at the scene. Detectives from the Forensic Department at the DCI headquarters are expected to visit Yala to assist with identification and investigations.